Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a regular photo into a painting reminiscent of Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night using CS6's oil paint filter. However, if you have CS5, you can follow along by downloading Adobe's Pixel Bender plugin for CS5. This document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Make a copy of your original image by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. We'll rename it Base. Go to Filter and Liquify. The Liquify window will open. We'll begin with a brush size of 90 and the brush pressure of 100. The stylus pressure is unchecked. Choose the Forward Warp tool. Click and drag to create a kind of finger paint effect. To enlarge or reduce your brush size, press the right or left bracket key respectively. Drag your mouse or pen using swirling curving patterns. I'll leave the church alone since I want it recognizable. This is kind of an underpainting to the filters we'll be adding later. When you're done liquefying, click OK. Call up your brush tool and click on the arrow next to your brush thumbnail. Click on the inside arrow to call up your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a set called Thick Heavy Brushes which comes standard in all the later versions of Photoshop. Click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnails window. I'll choose this one and then click on the foreground color. I'll choose a bright yellow and click on the center of the swirl a few times. I'll make the brush a lot smaller and then click on another swirl. I'll make a few more bright yellow shapes and then press X to invert the foreground and background colors. With white on my brush, I'll click on a few spots. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. I'll choose Distort and Glass, the Distortions 10, Smoothness 15, Canvas, and the Scalings 100. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your image, you may want to adjust these numbers. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Close Distort and open Artistic and Poster Edges. For this image, I'll choose the Thickness for 0, the Intensity 2, and Posterization 6. Go to Filter and Oil Paint. If you're using Photoshop CS5, you can download Pixel Bender from the Adobe site. That filter is similar to CS6's oil paint filter. If you're not sure how to install it, check out my tutorial on installing presets and plugins. The oil paint window will open. I'll choose 10 for stylization, 1.7 for cleanliness, 0.89 for scale, 10 for bristle detail, 300 for angular direction, and 1.6 for shine. As before, you may find different numbers work better for your image. Your finished painting will look even better if you rough up the edges a bit to reveal unprimed canvas. I found this canvas texture at cgtextures.com. We need to get it into a painting document. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it, and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Open your painting document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste the canvas into it. Drag the canvas layer below the base and click on the base to make it active. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. We're going to paint black on the layer mask to mask out the painting at the edges revealing the canvas layer beneath. Call up your brush tool and open up your list of brush presets. I'll choose Dry Media Brushes. Click OK and I'll choose this set and press Enter to close the brush window. I'll choose a small brush size and drag along the edges sporadically, leaving areas untouched. Enlarge the brush and click down once or twice to reveal more canvas. Using these techniques, you can transform any photo into a swirling, impressionistic painting. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.